Welcome to our first video lesson in our Learning From Home series. I'll be your guide on the side. It's Mrs. Logan here, ready to talk to you about how to create an equation in the factored form from either given some information like the zeros and another point or given a graph which indicates the zeros and another point. So first of all, we need to recall what the factored form of the quadratic is, and I've nicely written that for you. You should remember at this point that the value of a is just telling you the width and the direction of opening. The r and the s are the x-intercepts for our parabola, also known as the zeros. All right, so if we know the x-intercepts, we can use this generic formula for the equation in factored form to sub in our x-intercepts for the r and the s. So if I look at this first graph here, I know one of my x-intercepts is here at negative 1, and the other one is here at positive 3. So we can start with our function at x, f at x, is equal to a, we know the a will be positive because this parabola opens up, but we don't have its value yet. We're just going to sub in our zeros. So we're going to have x take away, and then the first one was negative 1, and then we have an x take away, positive 3, or 3. So taking away negative 1 really is the same thing as just x plus 1 here. So remember, we talked about just switching those signs when we're talking about the x-intercepts. Now, the next part here is finding that value of a. So what we're going to do is find another point on the parabola and sub that in for the x and for the y. And you'll see that here's another point on the parabola right here. That ordered pair, the y-intercept, is at negative 6. So the ordered pair is 0, comma, negative 6. So remember, your f at x is the same thing as y. So we're going to put our negative 6 in here. That's going to equal a. Where we have the x, we're going to replace it with that value of 0. And I'm just going to put the zeros there and finish this up. Minus 1. So we have 0 minus 1 multiplying 0 minus, sorry, that's a plus. It's hard to read. 0 plus 1 times 0 minus 3. Now we're just going to work on solving that for our a value. Before we do the actual solve for a, I'm going to simplify these brackets. 0 plus 1 is just 1. 0 take away 3 is negative 3. And then 1 times negative 3 would be negative 3 times the a. So this really is negative 3a equaling that negative 6. We can divide both sides by negative 3. Divide by negative 3 divide by negative 3, and a is equal to 2, which is positive, which I said would make sense for this particular parabola since it opens up. So therefore, the equation will be f at x is equal to 2 bracket x plus 1 times x take away 3. So remember, just sub in your zeros. Then find another point, not your zeros, but a different point. Sub that in for your x and your y, and then solve for the a, and then state your equation. So try the next example. Put the video on pause, try it out, and see how you do. All right, so my first step was that I subbed my zeros in. So I had x take away negative 4, which became x plus 4, and an x take away 6. Then I substituted the point of negative 2 comma 4. Here's your 4 in the y's and the negative 2 went in where the x is. I simplified each of those brackets to get a positive 2 and a minus 8. Multiplying positive 2 and minus 8 together, we get minus 16, which is multiplying the a. So that's where this step came from. Divide both sides by negative 16 and then rewrote it in lowest terms. So my a was a negative 1 quarter. And that made sense because my problem is opening down. Um, and it is a wider parabola compared to y equals x squared. So then I wrote what my equation was. All right, let's look at the next example here. Determine the equation of the quadratic relationship with these zeros. So those will go in where your r and your s are. And the y-intercept of 2. Now remember, a y-intercept is just that extra point that we have. For any y-intercept, the x-coordinate has to equal 0. So that gives you the ordered pair that you're going to substitute in for your x and your y. Try the question and then check your answer. All right, so finding this out, I'm going to have y equals a, and then we would have an x 
minus 5 and an x plus 2. So we're taking away that negative 2, but when we take away a negative, we get a positive out of that. I'm going to sub 2 in for the y and 0 in for the x. I'm going to simplify those brackets. That gives us negative 5 multiplying positive 2, which is negative 10. So 2 is going to equal negative 10 times a, or negative 10a. Divide both sides by negative 10 to undo it to get a by itself. And when we simplify that fraction, I'm going to get a negative 1 fifth as my a value. So then the equation is, the equation is uh, y, and I could use f at x, it doesn't matter, uh, they mean the same thing, negative 1 fifth, so this problem will be wider and opening down, and it's going to be x minus 5 in one bracket and a factor of x plus 2. All right, next example. All right, we have a picture here of a bridge. The arch of a bridge has a parabolic shape. So it's a wide parabola here. At the water level, the arch is 20 meters wide. The maximum height of the bridge is eight meters. Determine a model that represents the height of the arch above the water. All right, so there's different ways we can approach this question. I'm gonna approach it um, with my axes. I'm actually gonna draw right on this picture, I hope. I'm trying this out here. I'm gonna put my y-axis right here at the one end of the bridge, and I'm gonna run my x-axis along the water's uh, surface there. I might have that a little bit high up. Let's try that again, along the water surface there. So that makes the one end of the bridge happening here at zero, zero. The other end of the bridge is here, and we know the arch is 20 meters wide. So I know that this distance here is 20 meters across, which makes my other x-intercept happening at 20. So now I know my two x-intercepts. So if I want a model to represent the height, I could start with h for height. My height at my horizontal distance x, I'll call that the x, the height at that horizontal distance x I don't know my a value yet, but I do know it will be a negative when I figure it out because my parabola opens down. I'm going to have an x take away 0 because that's one of my x-intercepts and an x plus, uh, take away 20, take away positive 20, which is just take away 20. Now, I need to figure out another point on my parabola. It's telling me the maximum height of the bridge is 8 uh, I should have said as of the arch of the bridge is 8 meters. That's really what I meant here. So that maximum value right here is at 8. Now the question is, what's the x-coordinate that's going to go with that? Well, because problems are symmetrical, that x has to be exactly halfway between the 0 and the 20, which means it's at 10. So we have an ordered pair right here of 10 for the x value, and then the height is 8. So we're going to sub in the 10 for the x, the 8 for the height, h at x, and we're going to solve for that a value. So we're going to have 10 take away 0 in a bracket, and then 10 take away 20 in a bracket. Now that happens to be the vertex, so we also could have solved this using the vertex form of the equation, if you remember that, um, but this can be done with the zeros as well. So we're going to have 10 times negative 10 there, which is a negative 100 times the a. We're going to divide both sides by negative 100 to get the a by itself. And if I put that into lowest terms, uh, 4 goes into both of those. I don't think 8 divides 100 evenly. So 4 goes into there twice, and 4 goes into negative 100 25 times. So my a is negative 2 over 25. So therefore, the equation to represent the height of the arch, that the equation that represents the height of the arch, I could have put the video on pause and just written this in. Arch, that's supposed to be a ch. Um, x meters from the one end. From one end is 
h at x. So in my therefore statement, I'm defining what my variables are there so that it's clear to whoever's reading my answer what I meant each of my variables to actually equal. Um, x take away 0 could just be written as an x, and then x take away 20. So that would work.